welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madeline. And if you saw that little intro, your girl has been asked to prom. And that being said, today we are making what will most likely be the pinnacle of my high school sewing career, making my senior prom dress. <laughs> This sucker has been in my mind for nearly four years now, and you may be wondering what girl is obsessed with prom this much. This person and probably a lot of other people, if I'm being honest. Uh, but that being said, I have wanted to make my senior prom dress since I started high school and probably, let's say, closer to eighth grade. I started thinking and dreaming about what my prom dress would look like. Now, that being said, COVID happened, moving happened, moving again happened, and if you couldn't tell already, I am not a normal high schooler. That being said, I am actually being invited to a gala, which is kind of acting like this prom, because the only other two proms available in my local region are at a high school I don't like and at another high school I don't like. So, <laughs> that being said, we are gonna get what we get and not pitch a fit, but we're still making a dress for it. The inspiration of this dress is reminiscent of a chatronette dress that you see online, specifically on TikTok and YouTube shorts right now that are really popular. They often have low cut puffy sleeves, a sweetheart structured bodice, and a very long flared skirt. I only have a week to complete this project, even less so because next week we are actually flying out to Spain for spring break and the day after I get home is prom. So if you can't tell, this project is pretty pinched in. First of all, if you know me, you know that I have to have at least one element of recycled materials in this project. And in this case, this is this ridiculously large burgundy tablecloth. Now. Ideally, I would pick a satin material, but if you know me and you know my taste when it comes to expensive fabric, it's usually lacking unless it's thrifted. And um, suffice it to say, after getting back from the States literally yesterday, um, I'm not one to spend $40 on satin only to go under a skirt, so I will try to be as cheap as possible. But in this case, it worked out phenomenally because this fabric is literally the perfect match. This baby is from Sanvera 17. It's located on Amazon. It's an Amazon shop and they sell what is called Nigerian netted lace. And this is what she looks like. Look at that. And then if you look down here, the fabric is pre-hemmed at the bottom, which will make it so much easier for me to complete this dress in a short time period. The pattern we are using is S9577. Now that we've covered what pattern we're using, let's go ahead and head to the floor where we will go ahead and start working on this project. Now, if you can tell, I got back yesterday and I have stuff everywhere on the floor. I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning stuff up and then we will go ahead and lay our pattern pieces out. mainly consists of sticking stuff that side of my room and shoving it on my bed yes but we're not going to talk about that so let's go ahead now that i have put everything away to lay my pattern pieces out Okay, everyone, so we have finished cutting out the lining and the red tablecloth material, which will be going under the mesh lace. And now comes the difficult part of cutting the mesh lace out, and I'm really scared I'm not going to have enough fabric. Um, and this is also going to be pretty tedious to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and gingerly cut this fabric and see how much material I have left for the sleeves. And then once that's completed, we will finally start working on sewing this dress together. So we have completely cut out all the pieces for this project and now what we're going to do is start working on the skirt. The skirt for this project is two layers and it is made up of the sheer 
tulle lace material and of the tablecloth material. Now the plan I have currently is that I'm going to sew all of the tablecloth which is acting as the lining of the skirt first and then I will go ahead and sew the tulle together next. Once that's completed I will go ahead and stack them on top of each other, gather them, and then sew them into a waistband. And that is pretty much the plan for the skirt. There will be a zipper as a fastener in the center back of the skirt but besides that it is pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and I'm gonna put you guys in time-lapse mode, update you a little bit as we go, and then once I am finished I will go ahead and show you what the skirt looks like. So I have finished the underskirt and all I have left to do with it is hem it and then once that's done I will repeat the same steps with the lace. finally sewn the lace portion of the skirt together and I've sewn the tablecloth portion of the skirt together. So I'm gonna go ahead before it gets any later to attach these two skirt panels together and then I think we will take a break for the night and start up first thing tomorrow morning. So I have gone ahead and sewn the two layers together and it looks absolutely stunning. Now all I have to do tonight to finish up what I'm working on is attach the waistband. Well hello guys! I have finally attached the waistband to this skirt and look how fantastic that looks. This is what it looks around my waist and the spinning effect on this baby is absolutely stunning. So all I have left to do with this part of the dress is attach the zipper in the back and do that final seam, which I think I may attempt to do tonight, but if not, I will do it first thing tomorrow morning. everyone it is day two of working on creating my prom dress and today is probably going to be the most difficult part of this project because we are working on putting the bodice together this bodice is built out of three different layers we have the lace layer the under layer which is made out of that red tablecloth and then we have the lining layer which is made out of pink knit so i'm going to go ahead and lay these pieces out show you what each of the layers look like individually and then from there we will start working on piecing this project together okay so I have gone ahead and laid out all the different layers of the bodice. So this top layer here is obviously the tulle. And then we have our tablecloth material. And then finally we have our lining material. And if you can see the sunlight's kind of blocking the base out a little bit. I'm going to start by working to sew the lining together. I'm going to go ahead and attach the side backs to the center backs. And then attach the side fronts to the center front. Okay guys, so now that I've attached the side backs and center backs together and the center front and side fronts together separately, I'm going to go ahead and attach the side fronts to the side backs so that the entire lining is completed. So here is the finished lining and now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the red material. Okay guys, so we have finished sewing the red layer and the lining. And now my plan is to add casing and boning along the seams on this red panel and then attach these two pieces together. material sewn to the lining and this is what it looks like on me so it fits me nice and snug in the back now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on sewing the overlay pieces together 
So I have gone ahead and laid the overlay material over the rest of the bodice. And now the plan is to sew seams over the original boning seams. And then once that's done, I will go ahead and do a seam across the top of the bodice, just so that this material stays in place. I went ahead and trimmed off the excess material from the bottom of the bodice and I cut some seam binding and what I'm planning on doing is sewing it to the end, folding it over, but because this is that plain red material, what I'm thinking of doing is using some of this leftover fabric, specifically the scalloped edge, and then sewing some of that scalloping to the base of the bodice just to give it kind of that finished look. Okay guys, so here is that ruffle and I'm planning on attaching it like this so it folds over nice and neat and there's no raw edges here. Um, but once that's done, all we have left to do with the bodice is to sew the back closure and then to sew those sleeves over there. So I have gone ahead and attached the ruffle to the base of the bodice and now we're going to go ahead and start working on closures. So the plan for the closures with this dress is to do a corset back. So I have gone ahead and cut two sets of strips that are the same length as the bodice. And the plan here is to sandwich this corset looping inside them, sew it together like so, so that there is no raw edges seen. And then we will go ahead and attach these to the back of the bodice. Now, obviously I still need to trim the back of the bodice so it fits me appropriately. But once that's done, the paneling will go like so on either side. So these are what the finished back corset panels look like. And now I'm going to go ahead and trim these sides down to fit my waist perfectly. And then once that's done, we'll go ahead and attach these to the sides like so. bodice looks like and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to sewing the sleeves and putting them together hi guys it is day three of working on making my senior prom dress and all we have left with this project is to put together the sleeves okay so i have gone ahead and cut out two panels of netting and what's gonna happen is i'm gonna layer each panel separately underneath the sleeve and I'm going to gather it so that the sleeve has kind of a puffy tool layer underneath. I'm going to go ahead and attach the tool layers to each of the sleeves individually. My plan is to go ahead and add elastic around the tops of the sleeves and the base of the sleeves. And now all I have to do is sew up the sides and then we will attach them to the bodice. We are now at the point where we can go ahead and attach the sleeves to the side of the bodice. Guys, we have finished the bodice and this is what she looks like. I'm going to do one last fitting to make sure everything looks right, but otherwise, this project is completely done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, or share. I love showing you what I do. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching once again, and I hope you enjoy the final result.